If you haven't been around in the past century, there is a humongous company that monopolizes the industry by buying up small companies and slowly killing them, doing a Fortnite dance on their grave. This company is Google, with no hurt feelings by doing so and no remorse shown at all. Google has killed more startup companies than Hitler. Okay, that's a little too far. So when I was provided today with the information that Google was going to get rid of Stadia, I was not shocked. As a matter of fact, I've seen this coming from a mile away. Google has said they have slowly been deprioritizing Stadia for a while, only recently that they've decided to kick it into full gear. Now, me personally, I don't play on Stadia. I mean, call me old-fashioned, but I like to buy the physical copies. I don't like to have them on hard drives for multiple reasons. Like, let's say you lose that hard drive or, God forbid, something happens to it. Now, if you're not aware of what Stadia is, it's an application that you can play video games on while either purchasing or getting for free. Pretty huge about three years ago. And if you're not familiar, you have seen an ad, which kind of pisses me off because they spend a lot of money on these ads just to shit can the entire project. Stadia was presumed to be less popular than anticipated by Google, and it gave it three years. It gave it three years to really try. Stadia thought that they were in the clear. If only Stadia knew. If only they knew that they weren't in the clear. That their diaper was filled with that green baby shit. Slowly hurtling into irrelevance. Sure, it's sad and all, but if you decided to partner with Google, then maybe you should do a little bit of research. Maybe try to figure out, hmm, how many companies have they shit canned in the last 10 years? In April 2012, there's an application called Frummer that they sold back to the people that they had bought it from. Also, SketchUp. SketchUp was sold back as well. They also sold Boston Dynamics and Google Radio Automation. Now, nevertheless, as you know, some of these companies still exist, and this doesn't mean by any means that these companies are canceled. No, it just means that somebody that acquired the rights to those companies wasted a certain amount of years just to give them up, which sure, they had their fun, but now it's time to pay. Google doing this puts another feather in their hat of companies that they've gotten rid of within the last 10 years. I believe this is not the end. No, as a matter of fact, Google is going to keep blasting these companies in the back of the head, dumping them out of the car on the side of the road. I have heard good reviews of Stadia. As a matter of fact, it is a decent platform. Me, myself, I just don't play it, you know? Supposedly, they're shutting down in January 2023. Unfortunately, it's nothing like Steam. Now, Google did develop the company. That's not what I mean, that somebody else developed it and then they're selling it out from under them. This is a company that Google is getting rid of. Stadia turned into their own company, whether or not it was from the help of Google. Supposedly, they're going to be refunding everybody their money back. You want to get rid of a company, you got to pay the repercussions. No, I believe this is complete lunacy. No reason for a company to operate like this just because it does not perform among their standards. Now, of course, Google faces no repercussions from this because, you know, it's their company. Sure, they could do whatever they want with it, but it's just a principle, you know. You can't just delete a company off of the face of the planet because it's not doing as good as you want. That's just not really good business practice. I mean, the company didn't kill itself. They just didn't meet Google's standards. And if you're a company owner and you decide to sell to Google, just remember these few words. Google only cares about two things. The ability to perform amongst the level that they believe that you will and money. If you cannot produce those two things, then maybe you should just keep your company and operate it at a lower level. Yes, you'll get billions and billions of dollars to be contracted by Google to keep your company running with their small percentage being taken, of course. But you are risking selling out to possibly not make anything in the long run because them dumping their company back onto you in a worse state that they received it. It's not a good look for your company. As a matter of fact, I would say that Google selling a company is the end of that company. Imagine if Disney sold Marvel. Do you think that Disney would sell Marvel because they weren't doing well? Fuck yeah. But if they sold it, that company would be devalued because Disney's the biggest platform. And other companies would see that as a weakness of that company, that it couldn't even hold Disney's interest. Anyways, guys, that's the video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.